Yo guys, Jonas here, and this is the start of this video. What we're going to do in this one, we're going to focus on one thing, one thing only. And that's to make a new sliding door. We're going to be here. So, Jonas here today is Saturday, we're going to start to clean up here now. That's the first thing we're going to do. That's actually the only thing we're going to do today, before the rain is coming. Shall we show them the other door we made, yes. so they see what, uh, what we're planning to make? Yep, let's do that. Then we go and look. Yeah. We're going to make one more door like this one. This is homemade by me. Looking good, buddy. All right, we're going to make one more of this. One thing which is important to say here now is that that door is going to be closed later on. And we're going to have a new door from there to around there. And from that point over to down there, the new door is going to be. So this wall is going to be cut out. And I already prepared. Did it a long time ago, extended that steel support on the top there. And these have to be done before the winter is coming, so it's actually it's time to start. First mission is done, next now is to take down the heat pump, the daikin. Tommy Norvang is coming with new darking in one of the next days, so this one is going down. And now I put up the laser, I made a wood piece, we're going to be support for the aluminium profile, the door going to slide in. So I'm putting this up now in dark because it's much more easy to see the laser and get it perfect. After the first one there and the end one there was up, I used snooder so I could fit the rest. But now we're going to wait a little bit with the outside. I'm going to start to clean away from this wall inside. We have now found the door we're going to use there on the next to the new gate, the sliding door. The door we're going to use is lying here behind everything. So <laughs> <laughs> let's get it out. Yes. Wasn't any problem for us, Devon? No problem, just for me. It was actually a little problem for Jon because yeah. he thought the door was really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> he struggled actually a little bit there now. Getting a piece is going to be the bottom of the support next to the door. Making a hole. This spray is singing on the last wash. The primer is going on. Time for a fridge parker. I'm going to be support underneath the door. Now, we're going to cut here from the outside and in. So that's prepared. I'm now here, CEO Evansen, my sponsor. Materials picked up now for the gate. Huge thanks to my sponsor, CEO Evansen, for borrowing these ones. Those ones were big help today. After removing this 4.4 ton knecke now, I got some space. So now I mounted the door. It's where it should be now. I have not plugged it this way because this I have to wait to it till I can open the door completely. Till this wall is away because then I can open the door and then I have space and I can make bolts this way. But next thing now is cutting and making a support for the wall here. Holes are done. I put primer on the back side, put up the laser as you can see and now I'm going to bolt it onto the wall there. The wall is absolutely not straight, so some places have to put some spacers, so these are straight. I'm just done using the laser here to measure out the height from inside to outside with this water there. And now I measure from there and up, so now I know the height of the door is going to be 278.0. So now then we can start to cut the metal, the pieces. We're going to weld together. I have from my drawing of the gate here now. I write down all the measurement of the different steel layer. We're going to cut in different lengths. So hopefully I don't do any fuck ups. We're going to start with this one. 2780. There we go, 2780. This is the one I want to have four pieces of the same size. 
I put them together here on the end with the tvinge, so it flush, getting all four at the same time. Then we get the exact same length on everyone. We move the welding table down here and I cut all the steel I needed. And this is the wheels. This is the support for the wheel. I made a hole here out of center because on this side is coming glass and a lot of weight. So now I'm taking it on the feeling what's going to be in the center gravity of the door. So I guess it's going to be there. Now then, is it time to cut out holes and stuff for this one? It's going to have two of those in Newgate also. Same height and everything as this one. I got this. I only have one, I need one more actually. But now we can prepare it and make the mounting down there. So, here we're gonna have uh, gjenger, gevinde. And between that hole and this one, I'm gonna cut out. So, we can uh, tre an inni, like that. The gjenger is made now. I'm gonna measure out where the hole here is gonna be, and we're gonna make that. Side hole is made, so that means this is done. All of them is now properly cleaned because they have a thin layer of oil on them to not rust. So now is it cleaned? Now I'm gonna sand it with the Mirka sanding machine. Then, now sanding is done. Lined up the first corner here. And it's actually time to weld it together. Ah! Fire in the hole! I'm a fireman. She thought that the uh, ball is not uh, going out. 84.6, perfect. Same as the other corner. What I did now, I measure from that corner to that one and this one to this one because when you weld those corners together with only this angle to get it 90 degrees it's quickly that it's turned a little bit and then you're out of kush but when you measure there to there and this those two measurements across is the same then you know it's 90 degrees every corner probably not far away especially now since i don't have a huge table to sped it up perfectly everything it's a little bit difficult, but now since this measurement is good, it should be good. Then I can weld the last corner here. All of those across is now welded on, top and side. Bottom I do and I flip it later on. And now I put up this support on the straight line here in the center to have those on top of when I'm gonna weld them. So we, then I'm gonna have it a straight line so it's not gonna be like this all the way down. And also since my table is a little bit too small for this door, and I only have those uh, feet supports around. It's quickly, the, the steel is hanging, like you see in the middle here. That's why I put this uh, straight red bolt on top. So this now I have to make a little bit up when I weld it. So the door is not hanging when I weld the center piece because then it's gonna be like a banana. So this is actually a lot of work, but I think we're gonna manage it pretty good now when I do like this. There we go. This is also now welded on. Next thing to do now is to flip around, weld from the other side, then take it out and sand down all the welders. And I have to weld on the support for the wheels. So I think we're actually gonna manage to put primer on this one today. Those ones are on. And now then, we actually already flipped it. My father was helping me. So now I'm gonna weld every corner on this side. In the corner here, I'm using this feel and not the electricity grinder because if you remove too much material here, those corners are going to look really bad. So I do like this.
The red and nice primer I'm using here is from my buddy at Yuma Trading, Tommy. This is uh, working uh, really nice for what I'm uh, doing now. Second layer of primer on the back side is going on. I think actually this was the last. Yeah, now I'm done. Done with red primer on both sides. Now this is going to dry till tomorrow. It's a new morning. I have not put up this line. The aluminium profile I'm going to bolt on to here later on against this line now. I think I found the center line all the way down. It's a little bit difficult because the wall is not straight and from here on in it's not the same each end. So I think it will work out there. The challenge about it is that here gonna, when the door is closed, it's gonna turn into there to a gasket on this one. And when you open it, I don't want the door to touch this wall, you know, because if the wall goes like this, whoop, probably maybe it will touch. That's why it's difficult to find the line because the wall is going like this. I don't want to have it too far away from the wall either because then it's going to build too much out. Here we have the hample. Mixing it a little bit. Let's give it a better. This is the same gray color I used on that support and door and I'm going to be on this one now. First of two lights is on. This is not going to dry a couple of hours. Then I'll do the second one later on today. While it's drying, I'm going to put up with my Clark here now, the aluminum profile. I actually, I made a holes in that one yesterday evening, so it's ready to be bolted up there now. Since the first one now is up, I can measure from here now to here, and then I know where the, the hole in the next one gonna be, and further on. So I'm making the holes. For the two first bolt, I'm gonna mount it up with, into the support in the roof there, I use nine millimeter holes. And I have six millimeter bolts, that means I have three millimeter to adjust on. So when the two first bolts are up and it's adjusted correctly, then I have different holes with six millimeter bolts. So the, with the holes, so the bolts is fitting perfectly. So then I'm sure it's not gonna move later on. So the two first holes is bigger, just to have a little bit to adjust on. When it's adjusted perfectly, I bolt on the other six millimeter holes with the six millimeter bolts, then it's for sure gonna stay there. There is mark 6mm, then we do like this with this Telia spray from Tidy Long Okay, Really good for uh, drilling and stuff. And then we just make the hole down there. Second one is up. I also made this one. Inside here it's another uh, spacer like this with the uh, yengi so I can tighten it. So I know it's not going to bend here. Um, I think I'm going to wait with the last one now. Till I put out the gate one of the next days to test it to see if it's working out here. So I don't put up on the next one. And I have to change a little bit because I changed all three. Now I put up some isolation there to test. To find a solution for to isolate this steel uh, support there. Uh, I think that will work out. So I will continue with this after the door is up. But I'm sure that uh, everything is where it should be. Then I'm done painting the last, second and last layer of grey color. And I took off the masking here and put on the wheels. This morning is about organizing materials and different stuff for the gate and stuff I need later this weekend. First off is down here at Moxpo. Hello, Joachim. Okay? Good morning, everybody. Looks like you have a bad beer day today. Uh, you think so? Uh, maybe a bad moustache day? Yeah, see if I just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Time has come to try to... Drag that wall out. So far, so good. There we go then.
So, we have a small problem. Those wheels are here, those wheels are not for this profile. This is for bigger wheels. So, easy explained. It's two millimeter like clearance up and down there. And then it scratched when it was touching. It made a bad sound and it was a little bit uh, hard to push. So what we are doing now is making a nylon piece. We're going to be up here. We're going to keep it from not going left to right. And so this is not touching. Hopefully that will work. This piece we're cutting here now. I now draw this cross. This we're going to make now then. Or my father is going to make it actually. That's up. This is going to be like this now. And that's going to be the clearance. And uh, this is going to stop it from going more than this left and right. We managed to put on the white spacers or the nylon crosses yesterday. But look now, it's still not perfect. It's sliding not too bad, but it's, ah, it's not 100 us. And the reason why now I think is that the side of those wheels, they can, you can move it like this because normally those wheels should be up here and don't have too much space sideways there. So it's, it's going straight. So what I think about doing now is taking the gate down and mount those two wheels on a straight line together so they cannot turn left or right. Then I hope it's going to be good. And the reason why the, this is not fitting together is because I get I got this from a good friend from Ura. And to try to save some money, I used what I got for free. So I knew it from before that they are not fitting together, but I thought it's going to work. I thought it's going to work better than it did. So... But it's a, we're going to manage, and it's going to be cheap. Now using the laser, and I measure out where we're going to cut later on. Then is this support also on, and the playboy himself, Jon is here. Yes. He's helping me out here now. For a long time we should put some uh, puck down here in front of this door, and now Jon is finally helping me doing it. Gravel in, in gravels in the floor, or ground, or whatever. Yep, and now this is done drilled. I made a holes in it, so we're gonna take down the door now and try this thing with the wheels and stuff to make it slide better. We are done cleaning up the mess. That was a little bit in progress, but we should have covered up this one, but I didn't think it's going to be that messy. Det er kanskje ikke så mye om bordet. Det spiller ingen roll. Bil er bil. Kom an, kjapp, kjapp. Rolig du, da. Jo, det er litt å putte glås om. Vet da. Der, eller? Mer i senter der, Morten. Thomas, du har det bilivet, eller? Ja, jeg har det bilivet. Ja, det er good something, have it, because I don't.
Finally, this huge machine is out. Wanted to get it out for like almost four years now, so that was in time. My phone was out of power, so I could not make movie of it, but we now carry it with the fuel uh, sog. Carry it here and all the way down there. That's because this is a pipe, old water pipe, which is going from here in, onto the, into my father and brother's workshop over there. We're gonna use this for air pressure now. So the compressed air, air pressure, it's going to this one, into that building. And look here now. <laughs> this door is huge. I guess it's going to be really nice. We're going to get glass in that, 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 and that one. And this and this, and this and this. We're going to cover up like it is here. <laughs> now we really have to behave because... Uh... <laughs> Hello, mommy of the dragon. How is it going? Just fine. Is it looking good? Yeah. She's not enjoying a making movie of her. But you look good though. The next thing is to do now is to glue in a few glasses. Now we're going to go and look and see if we can find the glasses first of all. I have a lot of glasses I got from free from different places around here in town where they have been rebuilding. It's not those, I think there's... Fan, how many use the net? Those is it, them still high on! Those four. We have to reorganize here now then. All right. Quickly, what do you think, brother? <laughs> Looking good? Yeah, I think it's uh, open. Uh, you're always so positive, I like yeah. it. <laughs> Look here now. Here I have tape. As you can see. And the reason why is because here now we're going to use this primer. Is for for glass for the glue to the glass, what uh, Hurtruta car glass and uh, the guys using on the cars when they glue in windows in the cars. And the reason why I masked up here before I put the red primer is that the red primer is not perfect to put uh, glue and stuff on. It can get loose. So now when I have the bare metal there and I put the, the special primer on the bare metal, I'm sh I'm I'm now for sure the glass going the glue going to stick and the glass not going to fall out. The thing is that we, the first time we should glue in glass on my brother's workshop down there, we just use the primer and the gray paint and we glue in the glasses and they fall out. So this is uh, this we do of experience. Hello, see them more done. Yeah. Experience. Now we are going to put the primer on the steel. Then we use these elephant Q-tips. <laughs> Siga, Siga. Mm -hmm. From Isaac, my sponsor and friend, Hurtruta car glass. I have the glue and the primer from him. I think we're gonna do like this. this. Looks uh, like you've done it before, Stian. We don't mm -hmm. need, need we don't need this one. No. We don't need the glue on those glass to be so thick. So we do it like that. Okay. I need like smart. Slow, easy and steady. That's the this sound. Ooh la la. I'm an amateur, so I have to do it slow. <laughs> yeah. It's fast enough. <laughs> What's important, also when you do it on a window for a car, is to this corner, is to to dan this little bit together so we don't get a leak. Yes, that's important. Because a leak, <laughs> a leak you don't want to have. <laughs> no, not at all. So, 
I made this frame as the glass would go 15 millimeter into the frame each side. So now I put spacers here, so it should be 15 there and 15 there. So then we're gonna lift it in. Thank you for today, Jon. We so find out something question. shit today. Yes. Now we lifted the third one from the burns of Gloucester here, and then we saw the fourth is damaged and broken, of course. Of course. So now I have to order that one. It takes time. But uh, we are traveling in Talon for today because now we're going to go and watch the Formula One qualification and make some food. So we continue tomorrow. It's the next morning. And today I really have to close this one much better up because it's starting to get really cold during the night here now. And it's also cold inside here now. <laughs> the door is adjusted 100% now where it should be. I made a wood piece on the cross there on top and I foamed around the door. So this is now ready and closed. In my storage container here, I thought I have this type of plate in bigger size. <laughs> But I didn't, but it doesn't matter. I can use those and cap them up in pieces and use those on the door to cover up where it should not be glass. Top road is done, but guys, we're gonna split this video in different uh, parts. This is the first one. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video and we do it like we do it now. And I show you step by step like this. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you already didn't. I need more subscribers because the main thing why I'm standing here doing all this stuff myself is to save money so I can quickly go back to racing. Yeah, so more subscribers means more sponsors. Thank you. Next one will come in a couple of weeks.